This is Pluto by Modern Sounds. It's a tiny, battery-powered, modular synthesizer. And I've been absolutely obsessed with it for the past year. I'm Shines, welcome to Shines TV. Yep, we're finally talking about the Pluto. Now there's a lot to cover with the synthesizer, so I'm gonna have to split this up into a couple different videos. This one's gonna focus mainly on the sound capabilities of this synthesizer. The other videos are gonna talk about the sequencing and the patching, really the whole point of this instrument, but I wanted to cover the basics first and talk about its sound generation and its voices to kind of get a nice introduction to what this synthesizer is. I'll leave those other videos in the description below as I make them, along with my first impressions of this synthesizer, which has me floating around in space, being woken up from hypersleep. It was a fun time. There are two monophonic voices on Pluto. Voice one is located here with these touchpads, and voice two just gets these dials here. You're meant to create four-step sequences for each of the voices and then have them play together and harmonize in tandem. But you don't have to do that. You can actually play voice one using these touchpads and these knobs, and you can also play both voices at once using MIDI through a TRS to MIDI adapter. Now, you can only play one note at a time through Pluto, even though there are two voices to the thing. It's interesting though, because each voice is on a separate MIDI channel, and we're gonna talk about MIDI in a different video, I promise. But let's get back to the voices and how they actually sound. One could argue that the voice of the synthesizer is the most important part. As I said before, there are two voices on Pluto, and each voice gets a voice mode switch, a voice knob, and a voice patch point. Both voices get classic and wavetable modes, but then they have a different third third option after that. Voice 1 gets an external audio input, and Voice 2 gets what's called the percussive synth engine. The classic voice is going to blend between sine to triangle to saw wave. As you can see here, I'm using the voice knob to seamlessly blend from one into the other. For the wavetable voice, you can actually morph between 32 different wavetables. You can get a lot of overtones and really interesting crazy sounds with this one. There's almost a delay when you first change the setting and then play a note. It makes for some really interesting motion during the duration of that note. Now voice one gets this audio input mode here. This is gonna let you plug other influencer type instruments into Pluto's audio in jack and then use those in your performance. I found that the voice knob here brings in a bass note as sort of a root note, depending on what chord you're playing. It doesn't always work, but what you get is always interesting. Like I said before, Voice 2 also has the classic and wavetable modes, but it also has that thing called percussive synth. It's described as a blend of wavetable and FM oscillators. Really, it starts off very innocent with a kind of a whistle kind of sound, but then on the extreme end becomes growly and kind of monstrous. So it's worth mentioning that there's no traditional cutoff knob or resonance knob or any of those types of things that you'd find on a more traditional synthesizer. Those types of dynamics are controlled using the level patch point and the voice knob patch point. I'm not really sure if I should use the word modulation because there's no LFO or any of that kind of stuff that you would find on a traditional synthesizer but you still are changing the sounds based on input from other patch points. So you're gonna play with dynamics here, and when we start talking about sequencing, this is really gonna come into play. Last, but certainly not least, let's talk about the effects built into this thing. This thing packs a ton of effects into just two knobs. This is the extra spice at the end. It really does kind of make this thing a complete portable sound studio thing. Okay, so Pluto has both a delay and a reverb built in. You'll use this time knob to set which of the effects you want. On the counterclockwise side, or the left side, is going to be reverb. On the other side, or the clockwise side, you're going to get delay. The intensity knob really just turns up the effect, but past the noon point on the knob, it's going to start to add more shimmer to the reverb, and if you're in the delay mode, it's going to start adding more feedback, including this infinite mode at the extreme end. These are probably my two favorite knobs because this is really where you could start shaping your overall sound that you want for that one piece. And the shimmer reverb built into this thing is so spacey. So the sound design capabilities of Pluto are really just the beginning. The whole point 
is to set up a sequence, modulate, clock divide, and experiment. Like I mentioned before, there's no cutoff or resonance, there's not even an LFO, but honestly, I don't think that's the point of this synthesizer. I hope this video gave you an idea of some of the sounds that you're able to create from Pluto, and I hope it helps you to create brand new things using this incredible instrument. Now, if you have a specific question about the voices of Pluto, leave me a comment below. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. You can also just drop a line and say hi, I've really missed this community. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll catch you in the next one.